So recently, I felt compelled to return back to Eorzea, after a few months away. And boy, <laughs> what a strange week to return. What matters is the fact that this happened. This person was using a UI mod and he got banned. Attention, world! Attention! Feels good to be back. All jokes aside, it does feel good to be back. Upon reading the patch notes, I booted up the stream and decided to create an alt to document some of my adventure, experiencing the changes firsthand. I created a paladin, as it's one of the tank jobs that I really hadn't gotten very far with yet. And if I'm being honest, I love tanking in Final Fantasy over the other roles by far. Considering I hadn't really focused on the story as much as I would have liked the first time I went through it, and the most recent time as well, I decided to take things a little bit slower and really pay attention to see if there was anything I had missed. As I made my way through the MSQ, there were definitely some small details that I had missed in the past, or maybe they were patched in later to add context, but it genuinely felt like a new experience again. Let's be honest though, it was the dungeons I was most interested in revisiting, and holy shit they were good. In the past, the dungeons were an excellent experience. They are combined with exploration, and story, and combat, and tossed in a few extra objectives in order to progress. But after a time of going through the roulette and repeating these dungeons, some of them started to feel tedious. Having to locate photo cells in Totorak, or fire sand in Copper Bell Mines, just felt like a ridiculous process we had to complete. Now the dungeons are able to combine everything we loved, and they remove the fluff or at the very least, they shifted things to make the fluff easily digestible while keeping the core aspects intact. Seeing these changes, it's very clear to me that they learned over the years what the players enjoy the most about their amazing dungeon experiences. Let's be honest though, the star of the show has got to be the changes made to the Cape Westman encounter. I never did get to see it in its original state, because I never did push that far into the MSQ when A Realm Reborn first released. By the time I come back to the game and made my way there, experienced players loved putting markers all over the map, sometimes discussing insane strats, or just telling them good luck. But when it started, it was a complete steamroll of an event, and while it was nice to get a quick carry through a mandatory piece of content, it really felt underwhelming and my first time through was disappointing because it was my first time with a large group and I was looking for a challenge. With the release of 6.1, they changed the whole thing to a solo duty and it truly felt exciting. But I would be doing all of these changes a disservice if I didn't talk about the final gauntlet of duties from the ARR questline. Most of you know I'm talking about Castrum Meridianum and the Praetorium. Both of these duties were changed to a four-man duty and stream to make them a shorter, more linear run. There's no more massive backtracking in the castrum, and no need for the group to rush headlong into pool after pool of enemies and tank them all on the platform where you need to hit a couple switches. Additionally, the battle against Levius Sass Junius was extremely awesome. Ditching the Magitek armor portion of the fight, which required firing cannons at her armor, we now just fight her in a standoff. Before the battle, however, we are given a deeper look into her motivations, and it is pretty much made clear that she not only serves Gaius through loyalty, but also from a place of adoration for the Black Wolf, which adds more context to her final moments than what we had in the original. This leads me to the final duty, the Praetorium. Previously, the Praetorium was one long run through the Magitek facility, culminating in our encounter with Gaius and the Ultima Weapon. However, it has now been shrunk down just as Castrum Meridianum was and split into two separate duties, which gives us the Porta Decun... Decu... Decumana... I can't pronounce this... <laughs> uh, as the duty in which we face the Ultima Weapon. There are still plenty of cutscenes to sit through, 
when going through these duties, but with them being split into two smaller runs, this makes the experience much easier to digest without feeling compelled to set aside an hour of your time to get dragged into this through a roulette. But wait a second. I forgot to mention that there was one part that was removed from the Praetorium. The battle with La Habrea, set immediately after the battle with Ultima Weapon, has been removed from the duty entirely and has been instead turned into a solo duty. Just like with the previous versions, before the changes this was pretty much a steamroll encounter, but turning it into a solo duty gave it a lot more time to shine in the light of the story being told. It really gave this battle like a, a true in-boss feeling, as you gain the power from Highland to put an end to this threat. In all, the new user experience, in my opinion, may now be in the best state it has ever been, with years of experience and discussions with the community giving insight into what players want in this fantastic adventure. I think one of the biggest things about these changes is that they were made in such a way that doesn't remove any of the important aspects from this experience from the game, and only serve to make that experience better and more appealing for those who may choose to experience it repeatedly, or at the very least queue into it for their daily roulettes. So far, this is about as far as I've gone in the MSQ on this alt. I haven't done any of the other new content on my main yet either, so there's still a lot more for me to see. However, with everything that's been released and with the conclusion of the race for World First, I am pumped to get into the end game content and give it a go someday soon. For now, I'll be taking my time going through all the content on my alt, and I may be revisiting some old content on my main. I'd love to find some time to work on some of the most challenging content the game has to offer and hopefully get some of them sweet glamour weapons. But that is it for this video. I know it's been a long time of no real videos aside from a few reaction videos, but I've been having a tough time finding inspiration for new videos, and I guess the reality is Final Fantasy really is the inspiration I need, just as it was before. Have you tried out the changes that came in patch 6.1 yet? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. As always, if you like this video, consider liking it and hitting subscribe to help me grow this channel. Also, if you'd like to see me live, you can find me Monday through Thursday at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time and Twitch. The link is in the description. Occasionally, I stream at random hours of the night and early mornings on Fridays and Saturdays also, but if you'd like to find out when I'm going live, follow me on Twitch and Twitter to get notifications. Thank you all for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.